Nathan Oakley did it again. He presented some so-called facts without researching his sources. This is what he had to say. So if the baseline is not a straight line, then what is, how do you define the size of your circle of equilateral? You can't, because then it wouldn't be two-dimensional, it wouldn't be a circle. Oh, don't give it away, Nathan. Just leave out the question. Don't give it away. These oh, people don't know these things. Well, it's just obvious stuff. I mean, if you've got a straight line and you've got a 90, then you haven't got a curve through that because you can't have 90 at the end of it. So this depiction, which is in one of their books, shows what you're actually doing. Yeah, you're measuring an angle and then shows this curve running to the top of it. Well, you're not taking a chord line through the bottom of a sea with a curve moving up to your position and creating a hill in the way and you're drawing a line through the hill that's blocking your view. Because it's not blocking your view, you're drawing it out to a position that you call the horizon, an apparent location where the sky meets the land or sea, and then you're using that to establish this dotted line. That's your baseline. Why? Well, because you're measuring an angle. It can't be done any other way. It can't be done with a curve. That's just a fact. He said the illustration came out of a book, solid evidence that he didn't even know where it came from, let alone that he has read it. It came from a magazine called Cruising World from 30 years back that at the time was sold in the USA for $2.95. More specifically, it came from an article called Celestial in a Nutshell by Hewitt Schlereth. It's a rather sloppy illustration. In fact, it is completely wrong. But if Oakley had taken the trouble to read the article, which he obviously has not done, since he thought it came from a book, he would have read this. Whenever you take a sight of the sun, you are one corner of a large triangle. It's a right triangle, the difference being that the bottom of this one is not a straight line, but an arc. And there we have it folks. Another example of poor research, or better still, absent research by a flat earther. They just pick a sentence, or in this case an illustration that fits their narrative and don't bother that right next to it the text in the same article contradicts what the flat earther is trying to prove. And again, I use the word proof lightly. By the way, the article is a rather good and concise summary of how celestial navigation works on a globe. It's pity they have put in an illustration that is so terribly wrong. <laughs>